se preparó, se puso linda, su amiga y amaba. Salió de rumba, la tal y volvió, porque su novio ella le engañó. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this full face, not full face, it is a full face makeup routine, but I will not be showing you my eye makeup or my eyebrows in today's video. This is solely just focusing on my face and my foundation routine and all of that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in learning and watching how I do my foundation and face makeup routine, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for the first step, as you guys can already tell, I have done my eyebrows and my eye makeup. I kind of wanted to do a little bit of color since most of the time I have been keeping my eyes very natural because I have lash extensions and it's just really, really hard to uh, take off all of my eye makeup with them and it's just it's difficult so as you can tell i have blemishes and everything but i am going to show you guys how i do my full face routine which i'm really really excited about i've been doing a lot of new techniques and like a different style so let's get into it so the first thing that i normally do is i use my mario um facial spray and i spray this all over my face so my face can be really nice and um, moist and I feel like this allows the foundation to kind of slide a little bit better onto my face So I just kind of spritz it like this. I let it dry a little bit and this is a new technique that I've started doing um, This gives me a really really nice natural looking glow So this is the Maybelline dream Sun. It's a bronzing face illuminator I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and as you can tell, it's like super, it's just super bronzy. And I'm going to get a Real Techniques stippling brush and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my face. This has not been my friend today. My face has been breaking out as you guys can see. I have like a couple of breakouts, but it's fine. We're fine. I'm not gonna let that bother me. So I just like to use a stippling brush to do this. I feel like it just you know, helps a little bit better, but also at the same time, um, this doesn't need to be precise. We're just trying to get the face to be a little bit shiny, give it a pretty natural, like an illumination. Okay, so after we go ahead and we put that illuminator on our face, as you can tell, it makes the skin really, really nice and shiny. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my favorite foundation right now, which is the Juvia's Place. Um, I am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I am the shade Giza. And a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need it too much. And for this, I actually use a beauty blender. Mine is all dirty, so yeah, it's like whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my face. And I really, really like this foundation because I feel like it gives me a very flawless finish. It's pretty full coverage. It's buildable. And it does not feel like you are wearing a ton of makeup. It's really, really lightweight. But here is my makeup. Um, so now that we have set the foundation, the next thing I want to do is a cream highlight and contour. So with this, I have now done a little bit of the same routine. I've used different products. Before, I used to love the Tarte Tape, tape Shape concealer and put it under my eyes but I actually have been loving LA Girl Cosmetics concealer which I've always you guys know I've always used the dark shade for my contour but I have haven't used their actual yellow corrector concealer so today I'm going to use my yellow corrector concealer and I'm going to apply this under my eyes and I kind of like to do like this kind of like sideways triangle shape so I like to do it like that I take my LA girl this is in the shade beautiful bronze and I'm going to go ahead and create just kind of a nice shape not too close to your mouth area I don't want to drag it too too much the more you guys drag it to your mouth, the lo the more it elongates your face. 
so I don't want it too too high I have naturally really high cheekbones I think if I had like jawline fillers or something it would make my face look so much better but you know story of my life I always want things and so I'm just gonna do a little point and so now that I look like a warrior we're gonna blend this out so I'm gonna blend out my chin first the reason I highlighted my chin is because this is going to kind of bring a little bit more attention. I naturally don't have like a very out chin, which kind of gives me a double chin. So this is going to help kind of bring more emphasis to this part. And then of course when we get into the actual powder, I will kind of dust this side with a darkening bronzer to give it an illusion that it is not a double chin. And that I actually have a really defined jawline, but I don't but it's going to give us an illusion that I do. So that's what we'll do later. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of buff this in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and buff in my new chiseled cheekbone. And you guys, when it comes to this, it is all about blending. Blend, 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 blend. Like, Honestly, all of this is just about blending. When working with creams, this is the, I feel like the hardest thing to do when you're doing makeup is working with creams because once it dries and it sets, it doesn't want to move around as much because then you're going to put the powder and you're going to set everything and it's just a little bit harder to get rid of once you already have it where it's at. Like, that's why I have to put a little bit of a white shade here because... I feel like it just darkens it up and it makes this whole entire cheekbone just look so little and will look like Maleficent and we don't want to look like that. I mean, maybe we do, but I personally don't. So that's why I kind of do it in this way. Sometimes I feel like I talk and I don't make any sense. I just talk, I guess, just to hear myself talk. I'm just going to go ahead under the eye and blend up this concealer. Now what I like about this, because it is yellow correcting you guys but it also definitely highlights and it makes under your eye look really bright it's gonna make you look more awake it's gonna make you look more like fresh and like just renewed you just look better I feel like so I love this and as you guys can maybe notice or maybe you guys didn't notice but I turned my beauty blender so I'm not using the butt of it I'm using the point to really help with that point get right underneath my eye and kind of get into my waterline and this is just going to give it a more clean look and then of course I'm going to take the butt and I'm going to do the dark shades the reason you're going to put the dark shades on to your forehead is to kind of minimize your forehead and make it appear smaller so darker shades are going to make it look smaller the lighter shades are going to accentuate it and make it look bigger now i don't necessarily think i have like a huge forehead so it's kind of an unnecessary step but i like to do it anyways because i like the way that it all kind of comes together so now i'm gonna do my nose which i hate my nose so I like to try to make it appear as snatched as possible. So since this weather has created my skin to be really, really um, pretty combination, so I'm not going to set my face. I actually do this a little differently. Before, I would have used translucent powder and put it all over my face to set my whole face. But now I'm just going to set it where I get the most oily. And so um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and put on my bronzer. I'm going to do it the same places that we put our cream bronzer. So I use, you guys, if you guys want me to do a video talking about makeup brushes, let me know because I used to be like obsessed with makeup brushes back in the day and I'm kind of starting my obsession again to where I just need a ton. Um, but I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Don't Be Sleeping on Drugstore Makeup Brushes. They're so good. So I'm going to do, this is a MAC bronzing powder. This is in the shade Refined Golden, and it is so good. It's my fave. I think it works great on all skin tones. All little blending brush. This is actually from my ABH palette. I'm going to get the same shade, and I'm going to ever so lightly contour my nose. 
Okay, so the next step that we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and bake our face. So I don't normally bake my face, but my skin has been getting really oily in my T-zone. So I just want to make sure to set my makeup so that it does not smear or move around throughout the day. The one that I'm going to be using today is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this one is in Honey Beige. They do have a translucent one. I prefer the translucent one, but my pendeja S ended up picking up one that actually had a color to it. But definitely, if you have like a white or a translucent one, use that one instead. So, oh my god, I like dropped this all over my leg. Okay. So I'm going to use my beauty blender again. And I'm going to go ahead and dip it in. You guys, this is where it gets a little bit messy, so definitely be careful. Make sure you're not wearing your cute outfit just yet, even though I already changed. But whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat this underneath my eye. And pretty much just do the same shape and technique that we did when it was cream. And then I'm just going to do it, of course. You want to use pouting, patting motions for this. Because if you smear it, you guys, it's going to go away. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do it on my forehead because I don't get oily on my forehead and I could care less. Um, but definitely do it if you feel like you get really oily on your forehead. And also, I'm not going to do my nose because I like for it to stay mostly contoured. And I feel like I just haven't found the right technique yet for my particular shape, how I like to do my nose. This is just how I do my makeup. You guys definitely tweak it to how you need it for your makeup routine. Then I'm going to use my buffing brush. Oh, the words are all gone. But this is the buffing brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to go ahead and dust away any excess. Next, I'm going to do blush and highlighter. So I feel like this is really essential to find a blush shade that works and just goes amazing with your skin tone. I really cannot deal with these like red, pinky blushes. I like something that's a little bit more neutral. It's going to give you a very natural glam look. And that's kind of the look that I always go for. So the blush that I'm obsessed with and I've been obsessed with for so many years now is the NYX Chiffon Blush. I think it's a blush. It's like a, a Lumiere plus bronzer or whatever, but whatever. And I actually like to get my blush brush and I get my Mario spray because this does have like a natural little shimmer to it and I live for my cheekbones to shimmer. I think it just gives it a very like flawless finish look, you know? And um, the blush brush that I'm using today is just this. I think it's a blending, like a big powder brush and it's from Sonia Kashuk. So... Pretty much all of my makeup face brushes are drugstore. I hardly ever spend serious money on makeup brushes. The only ones that I probably do have are like MAC brushes and those I focus, I get more like my eye brushes if I'm going to spend some money, but you can get some good drugstore ones. As you can tell, really natural. Gives us a very chiseled jawline. And now it is time for our highlighter. So this is like my favorite part. I love, love highlighter. I always go a little overload on highlighter. Today I'm just going to go and kick it back with an OG. This is the Mary Luminizer um, from the Bomb Cosmetics. Ah! Okay. This is what it looks like. It is super, super pretty. Same idea as the blush. I'm just going to spray it. This is my... Morphe M510 brush. I love this for applying my highlighter. I've been kind of going for like a natural glow. I'm not doing too much highlighter. She says that she just keeps putting it on. I do like to also do the balls of my cheekbones. I know some people just like to do like the actual cheekbone, but you know, however you guys want to do it. For the last and final step is going to be lips. As you guys can tell, I put a little bit of mascara onto my lower lashes. So I've been loving, like literally obsessed with this new lip combo that I've been doing. So um, it is a mix of NYX and Kylie Cosmetics. You guys know I love my girl Kylie. So I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie. This is in the shade Bedtime Flirt. Which I love it. It's like the perfect shade of nude. I love nude lipsticks. You will hardly ever 
not see me like if i'm wearing a lipstick you guys know it's going to be a shaded nude but you guys this is a um liquid lipstick so it is going to dry and kind of mattify but i've been loving the lip gloss trend i don't know if it's still a trend i think it is if not i'm totally trying to bring it back because your girl loves me like loves some like full-on lip gloss it makes me feel like a brat doll i don't know did the brat dolls used to wear lip gloss i don't really know but it makes me feel like my lip gloss is popping so i'm using this lip gloss that i bought at ulta the other day you guys i went to ulta again i just filmed a haul video and i went shopping again and i'm not gonna film another haul video because you guys are seriously gonna think i have a spending problem so we're not gonna talk about it but i bought this in the shade cupid look how beautiful i literally swatched and was like i need this like no questions asked i need this so I'm going to use it as a topper. This actually looks really pretty um, without anything under. That I do, now that I like lowered my light. The last and final step that I'm going to do is set my face. So I just do it with the same Mario spray. And this is the completed full face makeup routine that I have started doing. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can always know whenever I upload new videos. As well as leave a comment down below telling me what other types of videos you guys would like to see from me. I really enjoy doing these types. I will probably continue more makeup related videos. So yeah, with that being said, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Se preparó, se puso linda, su amiga llamaba, salió de rumbo.